Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I thought I would do a video today on one of Ableton Live's best kept secrets, ALC files or Ableton Live clips, multi-data information clips. So let's dive in and take a look at how we can use ALC files in our Ableton Live music production workflow. In the first example, I'm going to be using a third party synthesizer, the Uhe Repro 1. So I'm going to add that to a blank MIDI track and I'm going to initialize the synthesizer so there's no preset involved. Head back over to my MIDI track, create an empty MIDI clip, set it to playback, and then just add some notes to create a very simple idea here. Great, and let's drop those notes down an octave. So it's a little bit more of a baseline idea. Let's head over to the synthesizer now and make it sound a bit more interesting. Great, so we've got this simple little bass sound happening here. Let's now head over to Ableton Live's audio effects and let's add a couple of audio effects to this as well. Make it sound a bit more interesting. Let's have a drum bus. Dial in a bit of crunch for some color there. Let's have a glue compressor to glue the sound together. So in this first example of ALC files, um, I want you to think about in all the different stages of music production, the pre-production sound of design phase or stage where we often come up with ideas like this, where we create our own bass sound, add some effects to it. And then we want to save this into our Ableton Live library and be able to use it at a future point in a new project or add it to an existing one. So let's do a little bit of housekeeping here. Let's head up to the MIDI clip we've created, a Command R on a Mac to name it. And let's just call it the UHE Repro, just so we can identify that file. I'm then going to head over to my Ableton Live browser, down to Places and into the User Library. And in the User Library here, I'm going to right click the mouse and create a new folder. And for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to call that folder ALC files. And then I'm just simply going to head back to my MIDI track here and the MIDI clip that we've labeled UHE Repro and drag that over and drop it into the ALC files folder I've created. You'll notice that has created the UHE Repro.ALC file. Fantastic. So the next thing that's rather interesting with creating .alc files is that people often ask, you know, how can we create a preview for presets and things we're working on ourselves? Well, what you'll notice is with this ALC file we've created that we now have down here, click to preview. So if we actually click on that ALC file, we get an exact preview of the state of everything that we saved when we created this ALC file. So that answers the question of a great way for creating previews for devices and presets and things you're creating inside of Ableton Live. So um, let's take a look at this a little bit further. Let's initialize uh, Live back to a completely brand new Live set. And now let's drag the ALC file we've created, Uhi Repro, into this new Live set. And you'll notice that when we've dragged and dropped it in here, it's exactly as we created it. It's There's the synthesizer, the Ableton audio effects, the MIDI clip and the MIDI notes. So we could very simply just come over here, push play and everything's exactly as we left it. We could create a brand new MIDI clip and compose some new notes. So the first example here, what can we use to create ALC files amazingly third-party instruments, also third-party effects. We can also use anything in the Ableton Live workflow, so audio effects, MIDI effects, uh, instruments, etc. 
So in this first example, it's a MIDI clip, a MIDI instrument, a MIDI, uh, MIDI track. Let's take a look at exactly the same thing, but this time using audio. So I'm going to head over and find myself a little audio file. I have this little sort of bell percussion sound. I'm going to add that to an audio track. And then let's head, it, head over to Ableton Audio Effects again and grab ourselves a couple of audio effects to add to this percussion sounds. Let's have an echo. And let's say we take the hybrid reverb as well. So our file now sounds like... Let's stop the bass there. Perfect. And now I simply want to head back over to the user library again to this ALC file, file folder I set up. I don't need to do any housekeeping, my audio files labeled percussion and drag that percussion clip over into the ALC file folder and you'll see that it's created the perk.alc. So this also works for audio files. So that's going to be a wrap for today's video folks. As always, uh, a thumbs up is fantastic for helping with YouTube and algorithms so more able to live users can see this video. Also consider uh, subscribing to the channel and dinging that bell for future notifications. I wish you a fantastic day, happy music making, and I'll catch you in the next video about Ableton Live tips and tricks. Ciao for now.